Russian forces continue their endless siege on the Ukrainian city of Mariupol as the U.S. and other allies get more aid to Ukrainian forces. Wake Up Charlotte's Bree Jackson joins us now from Washington, D.C. And Bree, all this comes as Russia also continues to attack parts of the east. Good morning, Ben. This latest round of sanctions comes after Russia launched its new offensive in eastern Ukraine. Russia also revealing a test launch of a new nuclear-capable missile. As Russia's deadly assault intensifies in the east, Ukrainian forces continue to resist. The Ukrainians have made clear that they are going to fight for every inch of their country. The Biden administration is preparing to send a new round of security assistance to Ukraine, a weapons package tailored to better help Ukrainian forces fend off attacks in the Donbass. Weapons and ammunition are flowing in daily, and we're seeing just how vital our alliances and partnerships are around the world. The administration is also unleashing more sanctions, including major banks, individuals, and the first set of penalties against cryptocurrency mining firms. So this is part of our stepped up effort to crack down on those attempting to evade our unprecedented sanctions. Russia now saying it test launched its new nuclear capable intercontinental ballistic missile. Putin boasting it makes those who threaten Russia think twice. The Pentagon says Russia notified the U.S. in advance and that the test was routine and not a threat to the U.S. or its allies. Meanwhile, Ukrainians under attack are standing firm. Citizens don't want to live in Russia. It's understandable and all the world uh, sees it. We don't want to live in Russia. Even with more weapons heading to Ukraine, President Zelensky says help is still not coming fast enough. Later this morning, President Biden will deliver remarks about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Wake Up Charlotte.